All right, welcome back. So I hope you guys wanted another one of these videos because do we have a good one? How many people want to change the headliner, right? I didn't record my headliner. Why? I don't know. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I did, but I did it through Instagram. I'm sure you could go on my Instagram page and you'll see it through that. But this one, this one is going to be a fun one. I wanted my original headliner to be black. I actually originally wanted a lot of things swayed in my car to be black, but my color blindness, not actually colorblind, I just suck with colors, but I bought navy blue and I ended up saying, you know what? This is going to look even better, especially knowing that I was going to have a blue car at that point. So that's what I ended up doing. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make this headliner black. And if you guys remember one of my previous videos when I was doing my quarters, uh, my interior quarter trim pieces, it's going to be a real similar process. It's all going through the same motions. Uh, I just went and took out. There is a, it was the dash light here and a sunglass holder. Um, and there is a, what was that? I think that was like a grab handle that went into that slot and there was one on this slot. I didn't take these slots out. I just had to take and remove one from the back over there. All those parts are right there. Oh no, it's a CD thing. Something like that. Something like that. But I went over and had to fill these in here because I did not want these to be shown. So I had already just glued this prior, which is just something small that you, if while you're doing it, if you're going to go that crazy to redo it, you might as well just go through the whole nine yards and, uh, and just fix everything before doing it. So what we are going to do right now is I need to do a little clean off of this. So I'm just going to take a brush and just whatever dust and stuff was on this, just kind of go over it and just remove all that because I do not want any imperfections with dust. I don't want it to hinder the glue that we're going to be using. So what we are going to use is the same stuff that I'm very familiar with. It's what I've used through my whole car, which is 3M90 adhesive. That's my go-to whenever I'm doing a project like this because I just found it to work really well. Uh, and the person whose car this is for, I was going to, they didn't have it in any of the stores. So I was going to say go with the 77, the 3M77 adhesive, but I told them I had never used it. So I don't know how good it is. Maybe if any of you guys have used it, you can let me know. Uh, but with that, we didn't take any chances and go with the 77. So that's why we stuck with the 90, which my entire car has the uh, 90 adhesive in it. And I feel it just... I've had I haven't had any failures. Knock on wood with the uh, the upholstery coming off. So that is why we suck with the 90. But now this thing is nice and prepped. Just go over the edges. Make sure whatever dust and little strings are hanging off are not hanging off because you don't want that to get in the way later on, especially when you're in a, a situation where you're waiting for that glue to dry. I keep getting stuck on it. All right, so that is now prepped off. What we need to do is cut our fabric to the correct size. So this fabric is from Joann's. Okay, so this is the usable side, right? No, upside down. So this fabric is from Joann's. Uh, the person whose car this is for, I don't know what they paid, but every time I've when I it's usually like right around like the 25 to 26 dollar mark for their their uh, faux suede line um, Which is a really good price. It's a really good price if you're gonna do your whole car You could probably do your your whole car for under a hundred bucks. They do it in yards That's how they they go by this Let me switch you guys to over here so What I need to do now is just make sure I get this whole area covered Make sure there's no overhang, or uh, make sure there isn't any areas that are uncovered, is what I was trying to get at. But that's looking really good, so now I could just take this, get my scissors, and just chop this off. All right, so now I can just kind of go through this here, and just cut this to size. Now, how I'm going to start this... I'm just going to take a nice corner like that. 
Actually, you know what? We're going to go a little bigger. I'm pretty much used to using this stuff by now. So I could do a nice big chunk. When you're starting this, do yourself a favor if you haven't done it before. Start with a really small segment. You know, this a little bit too big but start with like a small little chunk like that because this adhesive has to be sprayed on the fabric side and then on the the piece that you're upholstering because that's just that's how it works that's how it gets a, a really good uh ad adherence is it adherence a word but that's how it, it adheres well um to whatever powder you're doing that's just the best way to use it so that is what we're going to do i'm just going to spray a little on and just keep working my way all the way through the whole piece also Yes, use this in a well-ventilated area. That is number one because I found myself just filling up my entire my entire area in here with just the smell of adhesive spray. That's number one. But number two is when you're doing it, make sure you don't have anything you don't want to get covered in glue uh, just laying around because, again, this is a spray. I'm going to start with probably right in the crease. All right, so we got a nice layer down. What you have to do is you're just gonna see this through the time lapse that I'm probably gonna put this on, where it'll just change. It, the color's gonna change a little bit. It'll start to just mat out, like all these glossy, thick spots. Those are just gonna kind of mat out, and then that's when you know it's tacked up and dry. A way to test that is if you take the back of your knuckle and you touch it down to the piece and you don't see anything left over on your finger, that's a good sign. That's how you know you're pretty much ready to rock and roll with laying this into the spot that it's supposed to be put in. All right, so we are ready to go here. What I'm gonna do is tuck in a little string ties here and just gently lift and just let this work its way down. So you wanna get a nice even tug on it because you want this to lay down as smooth as you can and just work itself from one side to the other. Just giving a nice firm pressure just so that both pieces of glue are touching each other. So this now is one side laid down. Just tuck all that into the corners here. Make sure all that glue that's on there gets itself on both sides. All right, so that is one side that is now laid. What we have to do now, and this is where it gets a little bit nicer in a way. You can kind of just take your fabric now and just keep folding back until you reach the point that you're able to work with, which is kind of nice. That's what I found when I was doing my headliner. Take make nice even areas so now this brings it right to the point that you're going to need to work with okay so that is set and now 
we do it all over. in let me give you a, a nice little close-up look everything has been nicely tucked in and glued down on the inner seams everything came out very very nice very similar to how I did mine uh, not much actually really is different from how I did mine to how I did this it's the exact same thing it's they're both uh, headliners uh, but now you get to see what it looks like on the good side so now we have this beautiful piece here it looks really good. I love the black. The more I look at this, the more I really wish I returned mine and went with a black because this is just such a clean, clean, clean look. Oh, you really, you can't go wrong with it. Now all these little pieces that you see the opening on all these uh, little holes, something goes in here. I don't exactly know what because I did not take the headliner off of this car. But that, that is going to wrap this up. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys do your headliner because it looks so good, especially if you just have something that you want to practice on or you want to just, you have a beater car that you just want to look good or you have just a, your whatever, whatever car, you know, just a car that you really want to do it to. And I hope you guys send it to me if you do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.